Ladies and gentlemen, I am pro-LGBTQ community. I want transgenders to live their lives and do whatever they want to do. I don't want to interfere. I want everybody to be treated as equals. But can we stop the nonsense and bullshit that transgenders, those that are born men, transition to women, should be allowed to compete with other women on the field? It, this is embarrassing. Anybody with half a brain understands that if you're born a man, transition to a woman, you're going to have advantages over a lot of women in sports. A friend of mine, Congressman Seth Moulton, who's coming on my show today, agrees with me and put out a statement that he doesn't want his daughter run over by a transgender on the playing field. I agree with him. And there are Democrats that are attacking him for making that statement. This is part of the reason why Democrats lost the election. This is part of the reason why those on the far right use the term woke. We should all treat everybody as equals and with respect. I respect you. What you want to do with your body is not my business. I will treat you with respect. I don't care. I'll call you he or she. I'll call you whatever you want to be called out of respect because it doesn't affect my life at all. But the idea that if you're born a man, transition to a woman, that you should be allowed to compete on the playing field is absurd. Leah Thomas is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. When he was a he, he was over 450th in the country in swimming at the D1 men's college level. Then all of a sudden, he decided to be a she. Okay, no problem. None of my business whether you got the surgery or not, which I don't think he did. He wanted to be called a she and defined as a woman. Fine. But then he decided to compete with other women at the D1 women's swimming level college. And then all of a sudden, he shot to number one in the country. Is that just a coincidence? Of course it's not. Because he is stronger than most born women. He has advantages over them. I don't care who you are, Republican, Democrat, Independent, don't care if you're gay, straight, transgender or not. You cannot convince me that if you're born a man, transition to a woman, you're not going to have unfair advantages over born women. Now, what is a man and what is a woman? It's a pretty easy answer for me. If you're born a man, I consider you a man. If you're born a woman, I, a woman, I, I consider you a woman. Now, with that being said, if you're transgender, I will call you a he or a she, a man or a woman, and I will be respectful to you for a couple reasons. Number one, it's about respect. Number two, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect me. I don't care what bathroom you use. I don't care what you want to be called. I'll be respectful. Stop it with the sports nonsense. Stop it. This is dangerous for women. It's unfair. And I don't care if it's one person. And it's not one person. There's more than... Uh, is it a very small percentage of, of athletes that are doing this? Yes. Doesn't matter. Could be one. Could be a thousand. Doesn't matter. Let's stop the nonsense. Okay? If you're trans, a trans woman, you shouldn't be allowed to compete against other women on the playing field. Listen, if you're born a woman and you've transitioned into a man and you think you can compete with other men, I'm all for it because you don't have an unfair advantage. But the reason why we don't see that out there is because it doesn't give a trans man an advantage to compete with other men on the playing field. If you're a trans woman, it gives you an advantage. Democrats, cut the nonsense and cut the bullshit. It's making you look bad. It's unfair to women out there that are competing in sports.